Taurosaurus, perforated lizard, in reference to the large openings in its frill, is a genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Maastrichtian stage of the Cretaceous period, between 68 and 66 million years ago, though it is possible that the species range might extend to as far as 69 million years ago. Chasmosaurus was the oldest of the long frill, horned ceratopsian dinosaurs, whose family includes Triceratops. It was a medium-sized plant eater that had a long neck frill with large holes in the bone and narrow structures to support the weight of the frill. It would have had skin stretched over the holes in its frill. Chasmosaurus had medium-sized horns over its eyes and a smaller nose horn. Nasutoceratops is an extinct genus of centrosaurine ceratopsian dinosaur found in Utah, USA during the late Cretaceous period around 77 to 75 million years ago. It had a short yet thick snout and large horns above its eyes that extended almost to the end of its beak-like mouth. 
the horns are the longest brow horns of all members of the centrosaurine subfamily, but rather than growing straight out their horns would grow to the side and then out, similar to a bull's horns. Pentaceratops is a dinosaur which lived around 65 to 75 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. It was first discovered in 1921 by Charles Hazelius Sternberg in the San Juan Basin in New Mexico. It was described and named in 1923 by Henry Fairfield Osborne. Its name means five-horned face, an interesting fact about Pentaceratops is that it looks very much like a rhinoceros, except it had three horns on its face. It also had a large bony frill that was on the back of its skull. This dinosaur was around 28 feet long, 10 feet high and weighed about 8 tons. It also had a beak and a lot of cheek teeth which it would have used to process plant material. Cynoceratops is a genus of ceratopsian that lived in China during the late Cretaceous, living about 72 to 66 million years ago. Cynoceratops is a very significant centrosaur because not only it is the first ceratopsid to be ever discovered in China, but it is also one of the largest centrosaurines ever discovered. It lived alongside Shantungosaurus, Zuching Tyrannus, and Zuching Ceratops. Like most centrosaurs, Cynoceratops had a single nasal horn and no horns above its eyebrows. However, what distinguishes this ceratopsian is its frill pattern, which is a series of forward curving frill horns that run around the top of the frill. There is also a series of low set knobs on the top of the frill, which is not seen in any other known ceratopsian.
Styracosaurus was approximately 16 to 18 feet long, 6 feet tall at the shoulders and weighed around 3 to 5 tons. It was an herbivore that had a frill that emanating from the back of its skull. This frill had six spikes that came out of the edge of it. It also had a nose horn and two smaller horns that were over its eyes. All of these horns probably provided this herbivore with the defense capabilities it needed to fend off predators. Triceratops are a group of popular dinosaurs consisting of two different confirmed species. Scientists believe that the two different species did not live in the same time period. Both of these species have the characteristic frill and horns that make these creatures stand out. In fact, their name roughly translates to three-horned face in reference to their three distinctive horns. Thanks for watching and all the best for 2022.